We have tag director Jeff Tomsick, who's here to chat about the film. Congratulations, man. Great Thank opening so week much. for this thing, huh? Yeah, no, it's really fun. That whole Father's Day kit thing, Incredibles <laughs> gotten away. It got a, they did okay. They did okay. <laughs> They did okay, but your movie came in third place this weekend in the box office. Yeah. I mean, you got to be riding the high right now, no? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I mean, Incredibles I broke every record. I mean, it's Incredibles, yeah. But yeah. It, it's, this is your first it's major feature debut, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, you've been a TV guy for so long, but yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty insane being yeah. here. I, I was in my hometown on Friday, and then I came here to see all my high school and college friends who were here. And it's just been really fun to to watch it with an audience outside of LA and New York and, yeah. and, and see my friends and my family see it. So you were actually born in Chicago, but you grew up in Cedar Rapids. Yeah. I gotta ask, how much of this is your story? Have you been playing tag <laughs> I, for 20 plus years? I have not been playing tag, but <laughs> making this movie made me feel like I should because <laughs> it would, it's such a great way that these guys stayed in touch with their friends. Yeah. And I, it maybe is a better way to just I mean, it's insane, but maybe a better way to organize uh, people getting back together <laughs> in a in Yeah, because this way. is really, these are childhood friends who played yeah. the game of tag, and it carried on for 30 years into yep. firmly into adulthood. Yep. And it was actually a group of 10. I think you guys pared it down to five in, in your story, correct? Yeah. I mean, even getting five uh, movie stars in, in one place at one time. Was, yeah, these are no namers that, yeah. were, that you got in this film. <laughs> so for your first major feature, what was it like juggling these schedules? And we talked about some of these big names. Who was the first one you honed in on and then watched the dominoes fall? Uh, the first guy in the movie it was Ed Helms. And, uh, I, you know, the funny thing is I'd known Hannibal from Broad City for years. I knew Jake. We worked together. And we have a lot of mutual friends um, who's also from Chicago. And, and I knew John Hamm sort of pre-Draper. Uh, so before he had an ego. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he still has no ego. No. Uh, he doesn't need one. He's too handsome. Yeah, you, right. You, you don't need it. You don't need anything else. Uh, but uh, but it was nice to reconnect with him and Ed. I just met and Jeremy. I just met and Isla and Annabelle and and Rashida and Leslie are all sort of new. But uh, yeah, because the, you know it's not even just the five guys. There's the, the all these powerhouse just as ladies important. in the yeah. movie. Yeah. So um, it was it it was like a, you know finding the time that they all could be together and then just running as fast as possible towards towards dates that would work. But uh, luckily they were all willing yeah. to go to Atlanta for three months and suffer through the heat with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you have to tell us what you thought when you first saw the script. I know you didn't yeah. jump on right away. And yeah. I wanna know what that process is like for a director, meaning you get the script, yeah. then what happens next in the filmmaking process? Well, I got I got the script from my agents and uh, and I refused to read it because it, I just saw the stack of papers and said tag <laughs> on top and I was like how how is this a movie yeah. this isn't a movie there can't be a movie about uh, like about tag. tag you know how is this 110 pages and then my agent sent me an email in all caps just read the expletive script mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and I did and I was on a I, I was on a vacation I used to take with all my five friends from it did from not involve home. tag they did not involve tag just a fishing but trip. it should have it, 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 it might have been more effective because none of them came that year they one had just had kids another <laughs> family was sick so you know uh i read this and 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 realized that these guys had figured out this magic trick to stay together which was so nice um and 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 despite myself i was like oh i guess i want to do a movie about tag Let's yeah. do it. So Let's I, so I got to ask you, Jeremy Renner, who's obviously a huge deal, but he yeah. also plays an important role in the movie. Yeah. He's the elusive one who's never been tagged. It's his wedding date. This is the time that they can nail him down and actually tag him. Right. He broke both his arms during the filming of this movie? On day three. Oh, my god. On day three. We Your first major feature, the star of the movie breaks two arms on day three. It's Do you think maybe I'm not cut out for this? <laughs> I was like, maybe I should have Maybe I should have just taken a vacation for a couple months. Oh How does this happen? Uh... Well, he just fell. It was like it wasn't even a big thing. He was on a stunt where these chairs were supposed to surf down. Um, Can and, you reenact it for us? Um, <laughs> I would probably break both my mar my arms immediately. He's we much more coordinated. He kept I. on filming though. Like yeah. you guys had to use like CGI and a bunch of other things yeah. to make it work. Well, oh, he wow. didn't even know that he'd broken his arms after he fell. He jumped right back up and he was like, "I can do that better," and did it again. And that's what's actually in the movie. And then he went down to his trailer. We got a call that he wanted ice, and I went down there and decided he needed to go to to see a doctor, he called me, hit my left, well, the left wrist is 
fractured and my right elbow is broken. That's crazy. And uh, then he just came back, came right back like a couple hours later. He called me and he was like, what else do I have to do today? And I said, well, you got to throw donuts, you got to throw coffee. Yeah. Well, Everything you with ba- your hands. You're basically, <laughs> you're using your arms for the next six hours. Yeah. And he, he was like, mm. okay. Jeff, I want to ask you one quick thing before sure. we let you go. Uh, to, Tell people, and we've covered a lot of it, but what this movie is truly about, because you said when you saw the script you weren't necessarily sold on it. Why should people be sold to go check this out in the theaters? What will they be getting? Well, I think I, the movie's really about friendship and, and also just that being stupid is kind of okay as an adult. <laughs> I think we forget that we, you know, it's, it's yes. good to be silly. It's, good to, it's a healthy thing and keep you connected to those people that you might otherwise lose. And uh, I think, I mean... And friendship is important. Yeah, friendship (laughs) should be fun and make you happy, you know? We all get, you know, bogged down with adult responsibilities and and try to be serious and respectable. I love it. These guys decided to hell with that. Well, let's just just have fun. And they kept them together for 30 years. Do these guys approve of the film? They do, you know? Because I'm sure that was a huge part of it when you're doing it. It's like, are these guys going to think this, the real-life tag players, are they going to like this? The funny thing is one of them is actually a Catholic priest. I don't know if you knew this. And oh, he wow. was very reticent about being, because his image is in the movie. Sure. So he needed to sign a... There's a look at some of the guys a, right there. Yeah, sign a waiver. So Wow, how about that? So These are your real-life friends? Yeah, oh those, my are, God. No, those are the real-life real tag, life tag guys. guys. Oh, right okay. So, and that's Father Sean Raftis that's so funny. down there on the left. He, he still plays the game, has been playing for 30 years he's a you know he's got a catholic uh he's a catholic priest in montana he has a whole flock oh wow and but he was very nervous about being part of the, an r-rated movie and uh sure. he <laughs> called me and i i said father i don't know how to give you guidance uh, about this you represent <laughs> something bigger than me <laughs> yeah right best i could do is just show you the movie and i did and almost within the 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 Hour and a half that it takes to watch the movie, he emailed me and said, I'm in. I love so it. So funny. That's so, so cool. Well, the guy who got played by John Hamm is probably feeling really cool. Yes. Yeah. He must be the stud of the group. <laughs> Jeff Thompson, thank you so much thank for you. joining us thank this morning. You. So man. nice to be here. Make sure you go check out Tag. It's in theaters now. And clearly it's a hit, everybody. The numbers speak for themselves. So make sure you check it out.